Thank you for Boston. I became a national presenter. I even made it as a speaker along with Blossom. My students were teachers from across the country. Over a hundred of them joined me on Thursday morning, April 3rd, to learn more about what we do at our school, project-based learning. And these teachers got to play like we do in our science class. These particular teachers made race cars. The convention had many opportunities for me, including laying on a bed of nails, being on the cover of the National Science Teachers Association's newsletter based on my blog. I also got a nice shout out from PJ Simon, who runs the education portion of STEM for DuPont. This is why I do what I do. There is nothing like an inspired teacher. Such a blessing. I was in the booth for less than an hour, long enough to meet Patricia. I was surprised that she mentioned me in her blog. She thinks she has plans for me, but really I have plans for her. Teach them well, Patricia. She also invited me to Washington, D.C., to the USA Science and Engineering Festival, where I ran her essay contest booth along with her educational portion. I ran the solar panels, and we had some other people there running other demonstrations. Thousands of booths were there for demonstrations, including a 3D printer. One of the highlights was meeting Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs and Mike Rowe Works. I got to meet the president of the National Science Teachers Association, and I got to spend more time with PJ, learning from her and meeting more people. But truly, I've come out of this whole experience inspired and empowered to make a bigger difference in the lives of my students.